one time I'd reached this peak high and um, I was loving it and I cleaned from I think it was seven o'clock in the morning right through till seven o'clock that night I'd cleaned my house from top to bottom it was yeah it was sparkling. I ended up getting a um, a boyfriend that smoked it quite on, on a regular basis and that's when I became like an everyday user and spending all my money and more money than what I had and um, it just came from there and then I broke up with him and got with my current partner and um, we started um, getting big lots up north and yeah smoking a lot more and it just kind of yeah it went, went from a point a day to a gram a day and in, in the matter of months really. Well at the time I thought it was you know oh the best thing to, to do and then halfway through I realised that no this is actually a pretty shitty lifestyle when you've got all these random people in your lounge 24-7 coming to your house, you know, any time, day or night, they'd turn up, rock on up at three o'clock in the morning. It didn't matter, you know, there was always people in my lounge, girls, you know, little ho-hos that I'd call them, pee-hos, they'd come around and flaunt themselves and, you know, think they thought it was a really cool lifestyle. Oh, I'd love to be with a drug dealer and I'm just like, well, it's not that fun, but yeah, anyway. But it was just the norm. It was just, you know, you were awake for two weeks and then you'd crash, and it didn't matter where you were, what you were doing, you'd just crash. And um, I'd crash, and I'd crash for a whole day and night, and then I'd wake up and there'd be people in my lounge and I'd be like, oh yep, and then um, a pipe would go around again and that would be me for another two weeks, and then I'd crash again. And it was like that for a long time. I ended up getting given a switchblade, and as a, so I had it as a weapon because it was just safe because of the the stuff that I was into and the people, the types of people that could come round. Um, my partner was just like, you know, you have to have something, you know, you need to use something. And I was like, give me a switchblade then. And he's like, you won't use a weapon, but you use a, a switchblade. And I'm like, yeah. And um, we had this massive argument and I ended up flicking the switchblade and slit my wrist. And um, yeah, there was heaps of blood and was pissing at my arm and the, co the next door neighbours rang the cops, so the cops fucking turned up and then the ambulance came and they sent me off to the to Wellington Hospital to get seen by the site team and I ended up walking out, I don't know, maybe an hour after being there, I walked out. And looking back now, it's pretty nasty, it's just like, whoa. But you know, I mean, that was just pretty much so solely the drug that fueled that because we haven't argued like that since. I mean, we've argued since then, but we haven't, um, it's been nothing like that. It was just, you know, walk out and leave it. Whereas if I was on P, it would be like that. Nah. I'd see something and I'd throw it. The armed defender squad came in because they thought that we were violent and had weapons and, but yeah, um, they came crashing through the door at about three o'clock. We'd just come back from doing a big run and they came back at, they came through at about 3 a.m. We thought it was um, gangs, rivals that were coming in to, um, stand over us for our um, drugs and um, we just saw glass and then it was we got up to see what the fuck was going on and then um, yeah big guns and torches and we were told to get down and hands behind our backs and it was just yeah it was all on. Sometimes if I've had a real shit day like um, a pee pipe flashes in my head and I'm thinking oh it would be really nice right now but then that just kind of just it goes as fast as it came type thing. Someone has still, I see some of them around and I'm just thinking, fuck, look at you, wasted, just waste, waste of a life really, because it's just like, well, something's gonna happen. You're gonna end up either getting really sick or um, the cops are gonna come and take you and then you're gonna go to prison. And it's just kind of like, is that the kind of life that you wanna live? I mean, I know it's hard to give up because you've gotta say goodbye to your friends. I mean, I've, you got my son and my solo mum. I've got a, a dog who's not the easiest, easiest of dogs to look after. He's a, he's a pit bull and he's um, proud to be one <laughs> at the moment. So it's, he's a handful at times as well. And um, I go and visit my partner in prison.